To write the name for K3P, we first need to recognize that K, potassium, that's a metal, and then this phosphorus here, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for K3P. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. K, that's potassium. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. P, that's phosphorus, lowercase p. And then we're going to cross out the ending, the O-R-O-U-S, and write I-D-E. So the name for K3P is potassium phosphide. If you were given the name here, potassium phosphide, and asked to write the formula, you'd know that phosphorus, if you look that up on the periodic table, that's 3 minus. It's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Potassium's in group 1, it'd be 1 plus. So you can see that you're going to need 3 times 1 plus. That'll give you 3 plus to balance out the 3 minus. So that's why we have K3P as the formula for potassium phosphide. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.